happy saturday happy saturday everybody <clears throat> Chantel, i guess was up late maybe time conversion um and posted about six hours ago these two posts that french fried girl has captured uh ooh, an edit this bitch spends all her day lurking on Twitter. Grifter. Yeah, she probably does. She has some sort of lurker account so that she can read what people are saying about her. Because she's absolutely obsessed. She is absolutely obsessed with the React world and of Girl World. And so let's go through what she posted this morning. Edit. How is this beg? Oh, okay, let me read it in order. So the one where it says hello was the first one. Hello. I have had many people ask for my PayPal info. I have seen lots of creators put theirs in their video descriptions and I decided it's a good idea for those who want to spend some support send some support well it's basically the same thing right they're gonna be spending some money because she needs money right this woman who uh, can afford an apartment in Kuwait um, can afford to support Salah while he is running some sort of startup company that is not really doing well. And um, so I guess they, his family must be rich too. I guess they are. So they're kind of um, probably doing the same thing. It's like milking their, their families for money at this point. <sighs> all contributions will be kept private and I always leave a personal thank you message to those who do send me something do you now is that like the postcards is that like the, the coffee giveaway you sure you're going to live up to that actually and uh, not um be like oh, i'm too lazy to do it today thanks guys see you again soon for more beezing so beezing is a word that she made up the beezers bees beezing she made this word up probably to get around the youtube filter of b i n G E right so she made up a word that her audience will understand um, that translates into bad behavior basically it could be overspending on a shopping hall it could be enjoying party favors it could be um, overeating it could be all of these things right so that's how she spent her morning i don't know what the storm is like in canada this morning but uh she was offline yesterday the day before she went ahead and uh did do a live stream in a blizzard and it was weird to see her do that but she apparently had some sort of important to do at what is alleged to be the outhouse so everybody who's following her for many years or who lives locally recognizes the tree line as being outside of the outhouse so that is the rumor anywho Let's get to some recap of what happened recently. I'm going to cover Barbecue Chillin's version of this because it's, it's a nice little recap. 
Um, it's too bad we can't get back to the... Um, well, anyway, the uh, thumbnail picture, it looks like she is growing a mustache. So I don't know if she was doing something about that in Kuwait. Um, and we know she didn't go out, right? She never went out. And um, so there's no way she was like going to a salon and getting her eyebrows done, you know, whether it be that threading or or uh, waxing or something. Um, but she's been removing hair in some way there's another video out there and i'll see if i can find it that talks about is she back with natter and shows uh how a car pulls up during this i think it's this live stream where she's wearing the stripes I still don't understand why um, overweight ladies try and wear stripes side to side like that because it's the most unflattering thing you can do to your body. But okay. I mean, if you're going to wear stripes, they need to be up and down, not side to side like that. That's nuts because it accentuates your wits. But, um, I'm sure she knows fashion better than I do, right? Okay, so let's try and get to the beginning of it. And you know, that would actually be some good content, Chantel. If you know you whether you got furniture yet or not, did a walkthrough of your new place even when it's empty and said, This is what I'm moving into. I'm so excited. And I've ordered a bed, a dresser, a kitchen table. A wheelie chair, since that's what you need, apparently, to cook. I don't know why. I mean, you could be cooking things that don't aren't so time-sensitive in the recipe that you need to be hustling yourself around the kitchen all that much. And they would probably be healthier for you anyway, such as salads salads girlfriend why don't you have less carbs and more vegetables right i don't know my sleeping is messed up okay so first to drink today i have i don't know what this is colombiana but it's really cold oh there's gonna be a snowstorm i know this is chicken bismillah no i can't fast i know you're gonna think no it's true because eating right off her chest eating right off her chest on camera now look i understand girlfriend if you want to sit around and watch a movie and be gross and disgusting you do that you do you but don't put it on a live stream please like i explained yesterday yes. i have to take medications that like i need to drink water um i tried fasting and I just like felt so dizzy because like I couldn't drink water. And I'm like, how am I gonna take my medications? Like I can't do it, you know? Yeah, I bought some new clothes. You know what though? You never needed to say that you were fasting in the first place because you already were medically exempt. So why try and go through the lie of um, saying that you were fasting when in fact you weren't you were medically exempt 
And that's what you should have maintained the entire time is I'm not going to be able to do that part of Ramadan because I have medical restrictions, right? That would have been so easy, but instead you want to create this situation of contention with the people that watch you. And you're always blaming everybody around you for creating the chaos. I'm sorry, but you're not a part of my life. You don't create chaos for me. You create entertainment for me. And um, I just get to look at you and say, thank God my life doesn't look like that. I mean, it makes me feel better about my situation, being disabled and having a hard time walking, that uh, there is this fool out there um, faking illness, faking it, not treating the things that are probably real, like the di diabetes, right? But making up um, pain conditions that she probably doesn't have because her walking varies a lot. Um, when she want to walk, when she wants to walk perfectly fine, that uh, left foot turns right in. But when she wants sympathy, she is limping up a storm with the left leg dangling out, right? But they're kind of big. I bought a size up. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. My, my head's peeking up. Natalie, I have to practice the way I practice and not have to answer to anybody. That's it. That's all. I find I look like I'm like my, like 50. Then stop talking about your religion online. Stop doing it. Stop talking about it. You, you have been putting yourself forward as I'm a revert. I am so converted. I'm doing all these things. And, um, you, you don't even, you don't even go to the mosques. You don't. You don't even go to the mosques. You're not speaking to religious leaders in your community. You're not looking for a prayer group. You're not, um, doing anything. Like, you had a 17-hour plane ride from Kuwait to Canada in which you could have read quite a bit of the, the um, Quran. Are you still on page 55, girlfriend? Yeah, if I'm honest. I look happier. I'm just tired right now. It usually takes like a few days for my body to readjust. Like That's a weird way to respond to you look happier. Oh, I'm just tired. So I'm happy when I'm tired. Really? You don't look tired. You look um, hopped up. After sitting on a flight for like 14 hours, even just like after like five, six hours, my legs start to like, my, I don't know. It's like I had compression socks on, but my legs feel so stiff and swollen after for about three days. I'm parked in the same spot as yesterday. Yeah, for now I have no choice. Well, if it's where I want to go, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Give me a minute, okay? Because this thing wants to fall off. <sighs> I need a new sticky. <laughs> Why don't you level up and get the kind that um, just hang off of the uh, mirror and can swivel around and stuff? I mean, you got the money. Come on. having a wardrobe malfunction <laughs> and i just got homesick because whenever you get accustomed to something leaving it is hard no matter what it is even when i was in katina and i had to leave after only like was it seven and a half seven and a half months or something excuse me i was traumatized i was like i don't want to leave you guys and now like a year and a half like my pets it's like my heart's broken if i'm here my heart's broken if i'm over there sometimes because i miss some things here so no i'm never leaving sam Reginald, you're doing the right thing, you're prioritizing. Well, that's the thing, like, if I came back here, like, the thing is, is if I came back here, like, for my health, you know? I have to actually take care of that. 
And it's just overwhelming right now. I don't know what I have to do to correct my life, you know? So, when all I really feel like doing is honestly bed rotting and watching movies like Motel Hell and eating junk food, which I know is not, that's not a way to live all the time. You can live like that sometimes. So that gives me hope. Why don't you get a, a nice winter jacket and um, some heavier things to go around your head there and take a nice brisk walk nearby your house like on a wooded trail or something and just talk to your fan base for a little bit be good for you and it would be more entertaining than what you're doing now how is this any different than sitting in your living room in Kuwait? No, I hate that song. I heard it only recently. This is Texas by Beyonce. I don't like it. it makes me feel uncomfortable. Why? Why? Is it because you can't see a black person doing country? Why? Why do you have a problem with this? When the time is right, he'll come visit. I left all my abayas there except for my jail bag. I took that with me. Why did I change my name back? Because I, sorry, I changed my, my, na my name. I changed my mind a lot of things and I feel like more like Foodie Beauty is more of my brand, you know? Like it has more of a past, but so what? Everyone has a past. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I have a question according to Heather. Why did you originally upload a profile pic of you without the running going and also not to mention being married like honestly let's be totally okay so actually yeah, i wanted to address that because i keep seeing people say that basically the profile picture um i took it, that picture when i was in canada last time when i got that new sweater and i had my ring off at the time and i didn't think about it you know it happens like i do that sometimes so i did the picture i sent it to salah to show him the picture and he noticed right away he's like no ring you know and i was like oh yeah sorry babe so i went and got the ring put it on <laughs> No, he was, I made him sound rude. No, he was just like... Wait, hold up. Hold up. Okay, so I know um, BB Chillin is pointing out the fact that he was cheating on her with Ty Bella while she was in Canada, right? And so who cares if she has the ring on or not? But in her case, she's saying, no, no, we're fully committed. I have forgiven him for this transgression, right? However, when she redesigned Back to Foodie Beauty, not only did she put up a profile pic that she has apparently already discussed with Salah before she loaded it because it was taken in Canada. Yes, it was taken in Canada. So if it was taken in Canada, he would have seen it. That was many months ago. That was over Christmas. But doing that in, at the same time as changing her bio write-up on her site to remove any mention of being married and any mention of being a revert, no, this wasn't just a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. She was taunting her audience. She was taunting Salah. There's no, you forgot your ring, babe, kind of thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing that for dramatic effect. Anyway, so then um, I put the ring on and took another picture. So you can see that obviously they're slightly different. So I just forgot my ring in the first one. He reminded me of that and I went and put it back on. So then I changed my entire description because, for, like, for the Foodie Beauty, when I became Foodie Beauty again, because when I did Everyday Miriam, I wanted to be, like, more about religion and, you know, my, my journey as a revert. And then that just, like, became, like, overwhelming. It's like, I just felt, like, you know, judged a lot. Not judged a lot, but, like, well, that, yes, but that wasn't, like, the main motivator. I guess I just kind of grew tired of it, if I'm honest. Like, it's not content that I really, it's like, I missed beezing. Like, I missed, like, the foodie beauty kind of content. So I didn't put anything, and I didn't want it to have anything to do with my religion. Not very much, like little mentions, but not like a focus, you know, as a revert. Like, I wanted to keep, like, my religious beliefs private because it's really just between me and Allah, you know? So that's why I wanted to do that. Zion. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> what? 
I'm not free from Salah. I don't start bad mouthing him. Like, let's just not talk about him. Uh, no, he's free from you. And I'm still very curious about the circumstances of how you got back to Canada when your views have been tanking and you, your income has been dwindling. So, who funded this trip? Oh, thank you. To me, if somebody says something and they, don't, they say one thing and do another, it's because I usually change my mind on what I want to do. But it's not a lie because at the time that I proclaim that I want to do something, I have the full intention of, honest intention of doing it. It's just that if there's some... No, it is a lie. If you tell us that you're going back to Canada to establish roots, to get an apartment, to get health care, um, you've already got an appointment on the books for mental health, and you intend to stay for a long time, and you are now getting super wishy-washy within mere days. You claim that you arrived on April 1st. You claim that you were able to fix your car, get online shopping delivered to you, all in time for your first live stream on April 2nd. Your timeline does not math at all. It doesn't math. And that picture that you took on your travel vlog, I didn't get a good look at the screen. It said March 31st, but did that mean that was you there after midnight on March 31st and you actually arrived a day earlier than you are saying? For kind of interfering hardship, whether it's my fault or it's not, it's in my control or it's not, usually it is then that's irrelevant because it does, it's still not a lie if the, the honest intention was to do what you were saying or you were going to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I'm still married, okay? But my relationship, I'm going to keep like completely offline. That's why I removed it also. She says she's still married because she probably never was legally married. She says they found a loophole. Uh, they have some sort of religious marriage. This is not transferable to Canada. So she's not married. Especially not in Canada, you guys. From I removed that and religion off of my roster in the uh, about. That's what I was talking about. Because also, mainly, you know, I like my channel, Foodie Beauty, I didn't want it to be about those things. I wanted it to just be what I put in the description, like, you know, plus like shopping stuff, shopping stuff, like live stream beezing, just beezing. I just want to bees, like basically. So, yeah, you know, it wasn't because like I broke up with him. I mean, I guess I can't blame people for wondering because, like, you don't live my life, so you don't know. So all you re you have to rely on is, like, tea, you know? But no, yeah, I'm still married. If that changes, I'll let you know. I mean, you know, uh, he misses me. We miss each other. But I just have to keep thinking of, well, myself, <laughs> selfishly, you know. Hard punch to the door because she's trying to move her massive body slightly over so she's not pressed against the door so hard. <laughs> I'm not marrying Pete's, even if I was single. I'll never remarry ever, never. If anything ever happened, mm -hmm. <sighs> I'll, change, I'll change my mind. We'll see. Well, I've already changed my mind a lot of times, half late, and I'm still here, so I have to keep going. <sighs> I still have toothpaste mouth. Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not 100% sure yet about everything. Oh, I didn't give my pets away for a man. I got married and I moved across the world, so I was planning on living a life of like travel. Yeah, so you gave your pets away for a man who you just met and decided to marry within a week. All the way across the world and you had to rehome your pets. So, yeah, you did give up your pets for a man. And uh, pets are considered personal property, so the people who you gave them to own them now. That's it. End of story. You don't get to get them back unless there is some sort of arrangement in which they're willing to give them back. But why would they? You're an animal abuser and you've made that clear in every country you've lived in. Everything. I already went over why I couldn't bring them. Same reason I can't bring Julia. Part of the reason. Hi, Mike. I can't scoop my glasses down. Ow. There's a bone here, you know. <laughs> I stay home, like, near the end. Yeah, glasses are actually supposed to sit on your nose, not 
your forehead, not your cheeks. And those are readers. That is not prescription. There is no way Salah got you prescription glasses in time for this emergency trip to Canada. They take days to get to make the prescription lenses and to fit them in the frames. And then you have to go in and they fit them to your face. Clearly, you did not do that. These are readers. I stayed home a lot in Kuwait, but to be fair, we I also did a lot of content on the couple's channel where we did things, but that hasn't been in a while. That's too bad. Someone in Alex has shook chest said last week they saw you in public with Salah and you kept taking breaks and you stayed a couple feet behind you in public. Um, okay, I don't know. I mean, he walks fast sometimes. And for me, yeah, I take breaks. Depends where we go and what, how I'm feeling, but yeah. How is that like a secret? How is that tea? Like, is that what you get entertained by, Blue Pot? Oh, you, you have to take breaks when you're walking, so what? Maybe it's the person that I saw at the mall with their mother. I don't know. There was, like, a girl who came up to me. Remember I said in my thing? But I That was another timeline issue, right? Where you said that you um, got spotted in the mall, but then when you actually showed the mall footage, it was, like, a week later... But you had already spoken about this on a live stream, right? I was walking when I saw her, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Really, I don't. What a dumb thing to say. <laughs> I know. One side of your face looks very swollen. Um, yeah, I have left side swollen face disorder. <laughs> See, it's, I always have boogers now because I'm in Canada. And okay, two things there. First of all, yes, you have some concerning swelling on the left side of your face, which might be a circulation issue. It could be a heart issue. It could be all kinds of problems right there. Second, uh, what was the second thing that she brought up here? Air's dry. Oh, right. <laughs> She's saying oh, that queen. the... I'm sorry. <laughs> while she's doing her whiny voice that is like nails on the chalkboard for all of us she's saying that the air is drier in canada than in kuwait a desert a desert i think you could pretty easily pull up both countries and figure out what the humidity levels are in these countries and they're going to be vastly different stuck here i'm stuck here now because i don't want to travel i literally don't know if i could ever make that trip for a long time a few months and also because i just i can't keep changing my mind like oh my gosh like what kind of freaking manic honestly i've done this traveling so many times i've changed my mind so many times last time i came down here i was supposed to do exactly what I'm doing now but no don't you think that puts a burden on your family on Salah's family on everybody's family that they're constantly having to bail you out so that you can travel between these two countries and um, you're just flippant about it you're just like I don't know I want to do this I don't know I want to do that Blah, blah, blah. Right? And now, I have a pain in my heart because I miss my husband. I feel really alone. Even if I have people around me, I'm going to feel alone because I'm alone for a certain type of, like, attention and love. And I miss Julia's bad breath. Thomas the tank engine. Shaped like a screen mask, yeah. There's only certain people I can live with in life. <sighs> Obviously, my husband. And even then. No, I'm just joking. I'm kidding, babe! I'll give the deposit, and if I just somehow something happens, I'll just uh, cancel it, I guess. I'll get it back. I'm married, so there's no dating chaos. And even if I ever got divorced for some reason, there's no way I'm touching another male in my entire life from now on. Nope. Nope. Gross. Yeah, that's going to be screen capped forever because you're too much of a slut not to do that. Let's be real. When I think of all the creatures I let just like touch me ew 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 i have ick ew i have ick 
Don't you think it would be more disgusting for your partners who have to deal with whatever's, like, developing under your fat rolls and your fupa? I mean, don't you think that it would be more challenging for them to navigate your body than for you to navigate theirs? I mean, I hope that you're using, like, at least some gold bond or something under those flaps. Holy shit. Okay, I'll make my Amazon wish list and no one will buy anything for me. So I don't like asking people for things anyways. I guess I can make one and just keep it there. Whoever wants to get something can. And if not, I'll just get it like whenever I can, you know? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go for now. This is just a short one. More walks, but not in this crap. Hell no. My sketches are frozen. Am I sad? I'm like a mix of emotions. Maybe I just want to talk them out. Like, I feel like... Without getting too personal, you know, but if I could describe the level of conflicted I feel inside myself, like I'm staying here. Punching the door again. There she is, punching the door, trying to move her body over, her massive body. And um, so she has to punch the door to get it done. Don't worry about it, but I'm, I'm very, sometimes, not always, sometimes I get sad. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out, like, how to make my life productive and fulfilling here it's not a facade what makes you say that like seriously like i don't understand the grounds it's real i miss my family over there of course i do i spent like an, a year and a half getting used to that so but at the same time I you never left the apartment you very rarely left the apartment so i mean that was fucking jail dude that was living in a fart box. That was jail. That must have been... And she never showed the bedroom or the side room. Well, she showed it once when she was doing this whole Howie's escaped arc. Which I find bullshit. I think that was staged. But... Um... She was already living in gross situation, right? She got to the point where the only room she would show was the living room. And there were so many filters on, it like made it look narrow and long. And I'm sure that's not what it actually looks like. I recognize like, I need to be here right now. So what can I do? Sam will go crazy, you think so? I don't have a winter coat. It's hard seeing pictures of like Salah and Julia and Howie. <laughs> but it's also hard without, you know, things here. So I don't know what to do. Look, my live streams can't be very eventful until I just establish a life here. I just need everyone to be patient. Please. People do long distance. It's not that unusual. Yeah, but oh, you think so? I really have nothing to offer this man. He has to support himself. Like, you know, I... Uh -huh. It's going to be hard here for me. So I have to worry about myself and he's helping me. But, um, yeah, so he's not a scammer. I literally have nothing to offer him to scam me for. Just my love. <laughs> I just, like, feel insane. Like, I can't keep, like, going back and forth and back and forth. But I can't Our marriage was not a scam was the next line after this. This is um, edited. Uh, but she put it in past tense. I can't decide, like, you know. Yeah, the seller comments are getting deleted because my mods, like, you know, that's why the mods, like, they respect me. They respect that, you know, my, my husband and the person I love, you know, even if, like, you don't like him, then, you know, still, it's still a respectful thing. Like, I don't know. It's like, hi, then. <laughs> I'm annoying. Uh, I'm so yeah. annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna... Thanks for pointing out the obvious. All right. An anxiety attack. Like, for real, I'm having an anxiety attack. Why did I come here? <sighs> Oh, I don't like sleepaway camps. I get, I get. She thinks this is cute. She thinks that her audience is receptive to this and that it's cute to them. This whiny baby bullshit. This infantile demeanor. It's um, jumping all over the place. Manic. I need it uh, to get in to see 
a therapist, you know, yeah, you do, girlfriend. Get in there. I'm sick. The combustion predictive thermometer. Just breathe. <laughs> Thanks, Mama, today. <sighs> okay, tired of these. No, it's not a visa run. It's supposed to be a lifestyle change. <sighs> okay, let me think my rationalization. I can't. I get, I get bored easy. I don't know. Yeah, like, I can't be, yeah, I can't be fully happy in either. It's weird. Like, I can't be fully happy here, and I can't be fully happy there. There's things I'm missing in each situation. I'll, I think I'll just go back and forth <laughs> until we decide, like, <sighs> I don't know. I, th I don't think your families are going to be cool with that. I don't think they're going to be like, yeah, let's support this fake marriage and keep buying her plane tickets. I don't think that's going to happen. Plus, you, you need two seats. You gotta stop inconveniencing other passengers. It's unacceptable. Your behavior is unacceptable. I'm nervous about having him come here with me because, like, there, I feel like, I guess, like, he's, I'm, like, he takes care of me there, but me, like, I, I don't know, I would, like, be the one responsible, like, to take care of somebody, like, around, like, for a weird country for them, and I, I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> it scares me. I can't travel with Sam, I keep... That's not what scares you. I'm sure you would love to show him all of the things that you have in Canada. That's not your problem. Your problem is you don't want to bring him over because you think he's going to leave you. Because you think he's going to stay with you for a little while until he meets some other stupid ass who he can pull his romance scam on that will say, sure, I'll give you Canadian citizen citizenship and I don't have any financial uh, problems standing in the way of making that happen, right? Thinking how I can do it, like I can't imagine how arduous the travel is and then having to worry about a 15 pound cat. He's a big boy, why is he so chubby? Why is he so fat and chubby? Why is he so fat and chubby? You'll see all the hot Canadian. Please don't talk to your audience that way. Please don't speak to your cats that way. Retire that goddamn voice. Girls, what? <sighs> whatever. That doesn't, like, it would hurt at first, but if, like, for me, whatever. If a guy, like, f honestly, from now on, I vow to myself, never let myself get, like, torn up over. If somebody does that, like, you know, if that ever happens again or anything like that sideways happens, that'll just be it. That's all. It just wasn't meant to be. We both want to travel, but, like, that's the problem. We made this, like, whole plan, whole pact to travel and starting with Thailand, but... You're, you know, you're right. If you're healthy, you're not healthy, you can't do anything, hardly. So, I mean, for somebody with my health issues, I think I push myself a lot. Okay? Like, be my size with my health issues. Bad sciatica, bad asthma. And try one of those travel days. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. They will break you, like, anxiety-wise. And just physically, it's so hard on the body. So, but I would enjoy it more. Like, I wouldn't have to worry. Like, imagine going to your airplane gate, not having to worry about, like... You know, if how who you're gonna sit beside, how fat you are, you could just fit in the seat. You know, nothing worry. That's like a huge worry right off of you. Well, that's your fault. You live in the temple that you built, okay? So uh, the only way that you're going to travel comfortably is if you start doing something about that, because the rest of us show up to the airport. And don't have to worry about that bullshit. I don't know. I try not to worry about that stuff, but because like, who cares? You're never gonna see that person again. You just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you. Mm. Okay, this one is by Eyelash, and this is speculation that uh, she is already back seeing Natter. So let's check this out. Girl boss necklace. It's starting to smell like cheap metal. Why do you keep putting your vape up your nose? <laughs> I like smelling it. I'm only going to be gone for like three weeks or maybe like the most of a month. So my butt hurts, but I think we're going to be okay. Traveling is too costly. <laughs> He's like talking to women on Instagram live all fucking night for hours. Mm -mm. It's not a facade. What makes you say that? 
Like, seriously, like, I don't understand the grounds. It's real. I miss my family over there. Of course I do. I spent, like, a, a year and a half getting used to that. Right. So, but at the same time, I recognize, like, I need to be here right now. So, what can I do? I need a clear head to live life. Because I'm just trying to numb the pain, right, basically. So. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah. So these shots are to establish that she's parked in the same location as she was pre-Kuwait um, Arc. Hope so. <laughs> I think you can come on a tourist visa, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's like, oh, it's, it's expensive, the plane ticket. <laughs> Depends what airline you go with. I usually go with Qatar. But... It's a nice matter. I can always go back and visit, yeah. Am I gonna get some pussy licking later, Nader? With the handsome man. Are you gonna screw me later, Nader? And then. I'm gonna sign you to private. I don't know if you would say anything. Yes, I put it. I was trying to keep it private. Everything she does goes online. Everything she does goes online. Uh, she's trying to keep it private, okay? On payment. I'm gonna tell Nader that. Hold on. He has to know. Yeah. In a parking lot, Mia, yeah. Right, face. Well, Chantal's only been back a few days. Is she already secretly meeting someone? In my opinion, this is the moment that she sees a car drive up in a blizzard that she's meeting. Let's watch a little more. Okay, I gotta go. Look, I gotta go for the night. She suddenly has to get off the live stream as her eyes start darting around. Listen closely. In my opinion, you'll hear the car pull up and stop in the next clip. Yeah, the food, yeah, too cool. No, I... I... Do you hear it as she looks to see where they're going to park? Yeah. I agree, but the seating on the Airbus A330... Yeah, I have airline rewards. Looking again at whoever just drove up. You know, I'm not going to Nutters right now. Or am I going to Nutters? <laughs> it's a lot. Well, we were th thinking of like going to Malaysia for a while. A lot of Muslims are going there. <sighs> Shocked. Nervously rubbing her chin to see if she shaved close enough. You'll also hear a train in this clip. Guess who lives in walking distance to a train station? Not Al Shami. Oh, I'm living in a shack. No, Alhamdulillah, there, it's going to be a really, it's a decent place that I want to move into, so. Oh no, GH, yuck. Sorry to hear that. Trying to decide if she should do this or not. Hmm. I don't have an iPad. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Just give me a little bit, like not, you know. If I move, it will be like this month, like the end of the month, I think. Nervously bites her fingernails and keeps playing with her chin. You know, you move it on the first usually, but. Continuously looks from side to side. It's ready a little bit before. Nervously. Before I might move in, so. All right, guys. I gotta go for now. Yeah. I might come back. We'll see. I'm really tired. I'm, like, still adjusting and just, like. You're not tired, girlfriend. You're not tired. You like to hop in your car, 
try and beg for money, try and get people to view your content, and um, all the while you're doing it while, you know, giving us way too much information about your personal life. Um, so much so that the React channels can actually go back and compare video over video and tell that you're lying trying to be in a remote location that nobody knows. Give me a break. Just need to be in my feels. Okay. There's really only one reason that Chantal would not come back and eat dinner while live streaming from her car. I will never be high on camera ever again. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, it kept me from being so sad. I don't like to raw dog life, you know. <sighs> Bye guys. Thank you. Uh-huh. <sighs> now remember, this is April 4th and she's out driving around in a significant snowstorm. Let's see what the weather had to say about it. As it began snowing just before 7 p.m. last night, and it's still snowing now. In total, 14 centimeters has fallen as of 5 p.m. Here's a live look out of our downtown camera. As you can see, it's still coming down. A harsh reminder about slippery roads. The spring storm causing dozens of accidents, including this double-decker bus sliding off Frank Kenny Road. So who, besides Chantal, would be out driving in this kind of winter storm? Just 15 minutes after Foodie Beauty's live ended, guess who started a live stream having just come home from the grocery store? So I make little shopping in the snow. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> it's a heavy snow. I don't, actually, I don't know how I can help. And you know what? You know the short part here from behind? Yeah. <laughs> Natter's apparently been getting a lot of grocery hauls this week since Chantel returned. It's hard to even talk when normally without, without bags. Yeah, I know. And it was blowing snow this morning. It was bad. Actually, when I, uh, when I went on home? Yeah. Was, uh, was what? Hail. Oh, wow. Big pieces. Big pieces, too? Big, yeah. Wow. We did us go at uh, 3 30 to make us do heather. Yeah. So if Dee Dee got out of work early today, that means her car was available for someone to borrow and run to the store. She actually goes live today. I don't know where they are in that storm, but uh, it looked pretty bad and pretty persistent. So we'll see if she gives us more tea today. But uh, I will drop both links to the um, barbecue. I think it was barbecue chilling and um, eyelash. Happy Saturday, guys! Happy Fatter Day.